Remember, we have to proceed from 2D to 3D. So, uh, the information that we have seen so far is mainly for 2D. If you look at three dimensional uh, effects, generally what happens is that if you have low quarter chord sweep, if you have reasonably high aspect ratio and if you have a taper of nearly uh, 0.5 okay, and large flaps, then the loss because of the 3D effects is only around 10 percent. So, therefore, the wing CL max would be approximately 0.9 of the CL max of the aircraft and most airline, airliners will fall in this category. So, the most airliners will you can assume for most airliners that the 3D effects are only about 0.9. Now, when you use partial span flaps, then it is possible to use this formula uh, assuming that 0.9 is what you will get, but this particular uh, additional term helps you to identify the effect of uh, flapped and the unflapped area and uh, just, just to show you that the flapped and the unflapped area are the areas which are under the influence of the flap. So, if you have a trailing edge flap, then the area ahead of it also becomes a part of the flapped area and if you have leading edge flaps, then the area behind it also is a part of the unflapped area uh, of the flapped area. So, you have to use these uh, ratios and notice if you have almost full span flaps, for example, suppose you have a wing where you have uh, full span flaps, okay, then you know the ratio between the two is going to be almost equal to 1. In military aircraft, uh, we sometimes see strakes mounted at the root of uh, the fuselage uh, of, of, of the wing near the fuselage and uh, these strakes create a vortex. So, we call them as either as leading edge extensions LEX or strakes and the effect of the strakes is to create an increase a non-linear increase in the lift curve slope. So, with no strakes when you have a linear curve with strakes it becomes a little bit non-linear and it is beneficial. Okay. So, the CL alpha with strakes can be simply estimated as the CL alpha without strake that you already know multiply by uh, the summation of the strake area and the wing reference area upon the wing reference area. This formula can give you an information regarding the strakes, uh, but this is only uh, this is only applicable uh, for low angle of attacks at which the strakes are not very effective because uh, then we assume them to be like additional area of the wing itself. Now, the presence of tail whether the horizontal tail or a canard also affects the lift uh, that is produced. So, the delta C L because of horizontal tail uh, is equal to the C L alpha of the tail into 1 minus uh, do epsilon by do alpha into S T by S where do epsilon by do alpha is the uh, effectiveness of the flap and <coughs> or it is the influence. So, this is uh, obtained using a formula which relates to the geometry of the flap. This effect uh, is created because there is always a downwash acting behind a wing and so the, the angle at which the air comes onto the tail is not the free stream, but there is some kind of a downwash. And this particular uh, downwash angle changes with the angle of attack alpha also. So, the effect of high lift devices most flaps they increase the alpha at alpha uh, lift equal to 0, but they do not change uh, d c l by d alpha. Basically, it is a it is like an equivalent increase in the alpha that is why if you notice the line was parallel. Okay. For full span flaps there is hardly any effect. So, the delta alpha 3 3D is same as delta alpha 2D, okay. uh, but if you have partial span flaps then you can use this formula to get the value of the delta alpha increase and uh, notice that uh, these formulae are going to help you to acquire 
the information that you need for your calculations. And notice that the delta alpha 2 d is 10 degree at takeoff and 15 degree at landing as we saw in the curve in the figure behind. Thanks for your attention, we will now move to the next section.